What's funny about when Zelensky was elected in 2019, he ran on ending the war in the Donbass and making peace with Russia, but then was basically just pressured by, you know, all sorts of elements, you know, to keep the war going. Hmm. And really, if Trump, you know, what they needed to actually end that war, the U.S. would have had to lean on, like, would have had to support it. But they, the U.S. didn't. Trump started sending them, uh, you know, anti-tank missiles and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, Yeah, that, that was a bummer that he finally caved and started sending them stuff. But when Yanukovych yeah, yeah. was run out, that was when, that was when we first started seeing the the swastikas and the goose stepping, and mm. and all that stuff side by side with guys with a New Jersey accent wearing American camo. Yeah, yeah, it's tough to know exactly like how involved the U.S. was in that. Like we know the U.S. supported it. Um, you know, Victoria Newland was on the phone, kind of saying who should be in the next government. It's tough to know exactly how deep it goes, but yeah, it's really crazy. And the media, like you mentioned the swastikas and there's all these Nazi groups involved. You know, they were kind of the fringes, but they were like kind of the foot soldiers for the coup. And then they're fighting the Donbass war on the front lines of that, the civil war that broke out after the coup. And then, you know, and there was coverage of this in U.S. media. And then, you know, after Russia invaded, they, they tried to whitewash all these Nazi groups in Ukraine and act like, oh, they're all reformed now. Because nothing, you know, reforms extremists better than uh, a war, you know? It's like- <laughs> right. Well, and it gave Putin all the propaganda he needed because, yeah. hey, we're fighting Nazis again. Mm-hmm. It is yeah. crazy that, you know, the the Democrats spent four years calling Trump a Nazi. And the one time that he actually did support Nazis, they got mad that he wasn't doing it fast. <laughs> yeah. <at all. laughs> yeah, he got impeached for holding up a missile sale for a couple weeks. <laughs> to Nazis. Yeah, it is crazy. And it's funny, the New York Times just recently had a story about, you know, the Nazi, icon, like the Nazi symbols and stuff that the Ukrainian military, that a lot of people in the Ukrainian military use. And this, this, the gist of the article is basically like, oh, it puts Western journalists in an awkward position because we don't want to, uh, you know, show pictures of Ukrainians with Nazi symbols. Like that was the, their problem with it, was that it would like feed into Russian propaganda. 